Hi everyone, this is Sam here from Game Reactor and we're looking at Alliant Chorus. Uh, it looks very interesting as a game concept, but uh, do why don't you tell us a bit more about it? Yeah, sure. Uh, so you play an alien who finds the uh, NASA Voyager records, which contained all these images and sounds of, of Earth and also a map back to Earth. And so you follow this map back to Earth, but it's far in the future, so it's submerged. Uh, and you are exploring this wreckage of Earth uh, through the lens of the Voyager records. So you're interpreting stuff like uh, columns or you know, uh, ruins around you uh, and kind of imagining what they could be based off of the content of this record. And it's kind of an in inherently musical in that way too. So you can kind of change the, change the landscape uh, by playing back this record. Uh, where did this concept come from? Um, so we've been developing it for a a few years uh, and it started off from looking at uh, sonar scans of uh, shipwrecks because um, they come in in this point cloud style uh, which is, has this really haunting quality so it's really nice that we've kind of returned to the underwater setting um, uh, and over the last year we kind of changed directions for this more sci-fi thing it was previously kind of fantasy magic-y but um, yeah I think this works uh, the visual style is based sort of on this particle effect. Can you tell us how that was like to program, maybe? Um. Yeah, um, the engine is a big technical ask. It's written in our own engine, C++, OpenGL. Um, a large part of it is just trying to optimize that for rendering a huge amount of particles um, and do that in parallel on the graphics card. Um, yeah, so we have a process of converting uh, into point cloud representations and then trying to show that on screen. Um, it's quite difficult to uh, optimize to get everything running at a nice frame rate. Um, but yeah, so I think as we've kept going and iterated, um, Elliot's art style has increasingly given us more and more subtle forms of lighting and uh, ways of yeah, really utilizing that point cloud style in a very kind of subtle and beautiful style. Uh, where does the narrative take you in the game? Uh, well, really, um, the central kind of goal of the game is just to explore um, and may maybe kind of work out a bit more about what's going on on Earth uh, or like what went wrong. Um, but we, like, we're still working on it. Right now, so, yeah. uh, how is the development process going then? It's going great. We just um, got some funding from the UK Games Fund, uh, just helping out a lot. It's the first time we've had any any money and been working on it for just over three years now, uh, so that feels great. Uh, it's really helping a lot. Um, uh, what's the feedback been from here? It's been good. Um, you know, some confusion over some design stuff, but you know, it's entirely our fault. And it just naturally it comes when you're trying to like shove in as many things as possible at a show. But um, it's quite condensed, and we're trying to throw some mechanics and some kind of uh, visual imagery. And if it was a longer pace, but also if people had the space to feel a bit more calm with it. You know, if it, if it wasn't under lights and every, they know the developers are watching there, but they're trying to do things under pressure. It, it might be a bit more easy to kind of uh, understand at their own time. Um, how much content is there in the game to explore in terms of this alien discovering these new things? Uh, well, in the, in the demo we're showing, there's, it's about 20 minutes. Um, in the final game, we're not sure. Uh, we've got, we do have more, but I think we're just going to see what feels right. We don't want to overstay a welcome, you know. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know I, a definite answer right now. Uh, what are some of the sneak? But what are some of the highlights of the demo you're showing? Uh, what are some of the key things that appear? One of my favorite bits is sort of transforming. You can kind of like transform these whale bones uh, into uh, the skeleton of a mammoth, uh, and then watch it kind of animate across the. You know, start walking as you're playing back this record. That's a pretty cool moment. Uh, um, sorry. So on a kind of geeky level, uh, we've been playing a lot with the collision geometry, and I'm just quite happy that people aren't falling through the geometry and are able to climb upstairs when they think they should be. That's what I'm happy about. <laughs> um, and when can fans expect to get their hands on the game? Uh, we we would like to release next year, but we I just don't know. You know when it's ready. Like yeah. Uh, and on what platforms? Right now, just PC. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thanks, guys.